We're going on a road trip and we're taking the uh, red truck this time because I like driving it. Uh, we got this U-Haul truck, it got uh, vandalized and a bunch of stuff broke and all that so we're hauling it over to U-Haul's main repair shop for them and uh, we just gave everything a really good checking over, uh, especially that dolly on this side because when I went and loaded this thing up last night, uh, I hit a curb really really hard like hard enough the whole side jumped up in the air and I thought for sure I had just spent some money but everything's good uh, didn't hurt a side all of a tire didn't uh, bend anything nothing it's good so everything looks good on truck and the load here you got the light put on the back I usually forget that when it's the next day but it's there uh, here's a service truck we took that out last night too because it was a really long night so we're heading up uh, over the Cascade Mountains to Eugene, and there's some really pretty sights along the way, so you guys are coming along. Let's, uh, let's get going. Electric gate. I know it's like a super dumb thing, but I've never had a fancy gate like this before, so I think it's cool. But first, we're getting fuel. Come on, you know you saw that coming. That is how you turn three hours into one minute so we got that one dropped off and we ended up uh, hooking up to another trailer and we're gonna bring that back with us because they have I guess too many here and not enough there and since I'm going back empty anyways I said I'd take it over for them so okay now that we're back on the road uh, as you may have noticed we just jammed straight over here um, didn't stop for anything just got here got that truck dropped off and on the way back now we will um, do some exploring and there's some cool stuff to check out so we'll stop a few places along the way and, and take a look at those and uh, one of the places I was going to go which there's a kind of a cutoff you can take a dirt road for a good section of the way back across the Cascades we're obviously not going to do that now that we have this uh, trailer hooked up but still some other cool stuff to see so now let's go do some exploring I mean are you even surprised so we're up here just above uh, Lookout Point Lake I imagine when the lake's full, it gets up into this area here, just at the upper end of it, uh, before you head up into the Willamette Pass. But sitting right here, for as long as I've been driving back and through here in the last couple years, this string of train cars has not moved. I measured it with my odometer driving by because it goes right along the highway. It's nine tenths of a mile of all identical uh, hopper bottom cars. Hasn't moved in a couple years. You can see the tracks are all rusty. And there's two lines here. The other line over there is uh, an actually really high traffic, busy rail line. And trains go by all the time. But this one here just 
been sitting here. Like I said, almost a mile of these hopper bottom cars, which is just an insane amount of equipment to just have sitting here. I always thought it was pretty cool. I want to stop and check it out. So here we are. Yeah, you can see a little better from this side how far it goes from way down there. Way down there. So just under a mile of all these identical hopper bottoms. Just sitting. All right, we're taking a little cutoff road. Going up to a nice little spot to have some lunch. But we just peeled off the highway here. We're up higher up in the Cascades right now. And uh, this little road cruises up here. Usually there's no one ever around. Just winds through the woods a little bit and you pop out right here at the railroad tracks. A big wide open area here. Yeah, big old wide open area, no one ever around, just the middle of the woods railroad crossing, good spot to stop for lunch. And for lunch today, we have Lunchables and an Oreo, no, um, peanut butter cup milkshake, because I'm a grown adult, so I eat like one. Sounds like we might get lucky and a train's coming. I hear some chugging along in the canyon, so... Hopefully that's the case. That'd be cool. Yep, that's a train. It's a uh, passenger train. Train. That's pretty cool. Where I come from, there's no, like no such thing as trains, so I know for a lot of people that's like stupid boring, but I think it's really cool. Okay, we're all done with lunch, and uh, we're gonna head back down to the highway. If I didn't have the trailer with me, we could uh, hop over the tracks here and go through the woods on all the dirt roads and uh, way up towards the top of the pass and drop back down on the highway up there, but. Probably not the best idea with the trailer, so we are not going to do that. Okay, we are turning off the highway again to go check out something else. This is probably one of the coolest and most amazing places that I absolutely hate. It flat out terrifies me, but we're going to stop and show you anyway because I like you guys and I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy seeing it. So uh, we're going to go look at it for just a little bit because. I really don't want to be anywhere near it for much longer than that, so let's go see. What a oh, what could it be? Let's cruise down here and see. Okay, this is the Salt Creek Waterfall. It is the second highest single drop waterfall in the state of Oregon at 286 feet and it is absolutely terrifying. Like beautiful to see like in this video or in a picture but I'm not a super fan of it in person. Like this cliff is straight off. It's actually not even straight off. It's undercut. We're over the top of uh, nothing right now because the cliff actually curves back underneath. So that's super not cool. You know what else is super not cool? The fact that it's just like eroded away right here. And their solution is just to put some orange fencing so you don't fall off the edge. We're gonna um, we're gonna leave now because that's as close for as long as I want to be to that, so. Oh, we gotta go back this way. Dang it, we have to go back past it. Not cool. Hey, Oregon, you need to put like another exit going this way for the people who don't want to walk back past the waterfall. 
That would be much appreciated, thanks. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that because it was terrifying for me. So we're gonna head back over, get in the truck. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on really, really tight and we'll get back on the road. Okay, back in the truck with the seatbelt on tight so we don't fall over the edge of the waterfall. And now up the road we go to the next spot. Okay, this here is Diamond Peak, that rugged group of Rocky Mountain peaks up there. Uh, and that is named after a guy named John Diamond. This whole highway here that we've been traveling on is, uh, well, closely followed a wagon trail that went across as part of the Oregon Trail. Uh, the Oregon Trail had its main route, but it had a whole lot of cutoffs as well. This was one of them called the Willamette Pass. And it runs through the Willamette National Forest. Crazy coincidence, I know, but that's what it's called. And uh, when they were scouting this cutoff to go over the Cascades here and get into the Willamette Valley, a guy named John Diamond climbed to the top of that peak to look around at everything from above and find a path they could get the wagons across to. So the fact that they took wagons across this terrain is absolutely insane. And I know for a fact that that is Diamond Peak because there's a sign that says so. Okay, back on the road. Now keep that in mind about the Oregon Trail having a whole bunch of different cutoff routes as it got over here at the Cascades to go over the mountains in different areas. That's gonna be a very important piece of information here in a soon to be upcoming video where Grumpy and I go back out to explore that abandoned Native American ambush village uh, I found out in the desert. So uh, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that one because that's gonna be coming up here before too long. So we're back in Bend, we got that trailer dropped off. That means we're back in the traffic too, as you can see. Uh, I didn't film much of any of the actual towing part of this one because you guys have seen me do that exact same tow to that exact same place uh, a couple times on here now, I think. So instead, I filmed the sights and stuff to see along the way. And uh, hopefully you like that because I like that. So I'm gonna keep doing it. And uh, the more places we go to explore, the more exploring we'll do. The cool thing about this job is the places that it takes me and the places I get to explore and see because of it. So I like sharing that part of it. Hopefully you like watching that part of it. I would imagine you do, but either way I like it. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, anyway, that is it for this one. Um, hopefully we'll get to some more cool places to check out in the next one and some more cool off-road recovery stuff to do because that's always fun as well. So that's it for this one and we will see you guys next time.